A group of bipartisan lawmakers have sent a letter to Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg expressing concern about the sale of illegal drugs on the company's various platforms. Now, this follows a Wall Street Journal report alleging that ads for those drugs appeared across Facebook and Instagram. For more, Yahoo Finance's very own Akiko Fujita is tracking the story for us. Akiko. Hi there, Shauna. Yeah, that letter from lawmakers specifically cites that Wall Street Journal article that alleges Meta continues to collect revenue from hundreds of ads selling cocaine, opioids, and other drugs. The bipartisan group saying specifically that Meta appears to have continued to shirk its social responsibility and defy its own community guidelines protecting users online, especially children and teenagers, is one of our top priorities. We are continuously concerned that Meta is not up to the task and this dereliction of duty needs to be addressed. Now, this all, of course, stems from that Wall Street Journal article, and the company's already under federal investigation for its role in the illicit sale of drugs and ads promoting its use would be direct violation of the company's own ad policies that ban the promotion of illegal drug use. The Wall Street Journal's reporting shows that dozens of ads marketing illegal substances continues to run on both Facebook and Instagram, and those ads steered users to an online marketplace for illegal drugs. The Journal reporting that some of those ads showed prescription drug bottles or bricks of cocaine, saying, Place your orders. Now, in this new letter, lawmakers don't just accuse Meta of failing to stop those images, but making money off of them, saying this wasn't user-generated content on the dark web, but advertisements approved and monetized by Meta. Now, Meta has previously said the company is working closely with law enforcement to combat the activity. They also have AI tools in place to moderate content, although the journal's reporting does suggest that those tools haven't been able to detect those ads. Now the lawmakers are demanding specific details from the company. Number one, how many ads the company's discovered promoting the illicit use of illegal drugs? Number two, how much revenue Meta has collected from those ads? And finally, what action the company is taking against those who are placing the ads? And we should note, guys, you know, the Wall Street Journal's reporting has also featured at least one family that lost their 15-year-old son to a drug overdose. Uh, their reporting suggests that messaging points to the fact that this person was able to contact the person who supplied drugs through DM on Instagram as well. So this isn't just about those ads, but also what the Wall Street Journal's reporting suggests are lives lost as a result of them. All right, Akiko, great reporting as always. Thank you so much for joining us on that important story. We appreciate it.